Hi, everybody. It's the Dental Assistant Tutor here. And yes, once again, I have marked up my face in order to teach dental assistants around the world how to become better dental assistants. And some just frankly learn by visual. So this is your visual. All right. Now, we have talked about the midline with charting and everything. And I will have that video linked to this video at the end if you haven't seen it. But we're going to talk about placement of the ring kit, okay? This is a one ring kit for all the teeth, okay? A lot of the use for it for digital nowadays, so I'm going to demonstrate how to use this one. Um, it has a little sticky paper. You just take this part off. This is disposable after every patient. Some of these look just like this, but it has four straps that you would Velcro or tape onto the uh, sensor. I like those ones better, but this one is fine because it just sticks to it as well. And you just slide it in and it has the same colors indicated on it. Yellow for posterior, red for bite wings and blue for anterior teeth. Then you also have it on this bite tab. It indicates it, all right? And you just move it to that line. So right now I have it on bite wings. Now, the reason why I have these markings on my face is if you go to my Dental Index Junior page, I also have a picture of a lady's um, face on there with lines. That is so you can right click on that picture and print it out and you can um, label it so you can remember where to place the x-rays so you don't miss out on that tooth or apex. Um, Allura is as low as a reasonable achievable. So we have to really try to get our x-rays uh, down pat before we even get out there. Very important. Another thing is on that paper, you can just, um, if you don't want to print it out, you don't have a printer, I understand that. Um, just draw a face and then draw the pupil and we're going to about to go over that. So whenever you're taking x-rays of the uh, bite wings, even if you have to freehand it, which means just with the use of this, what you're going to do is you're going to line it up, okay? Let me use this side. So I need to get a bite wing of the premolars, okay? Since you can't see inside my mouth good, here are my premolars. I got my centros, my lateral and cuspids, my premolars, and then my molars. Okay, I'm going to take this and put it in my mouth. Uh-huh. Uh, uh hard. Hold it here and flip it here. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, with that being said, you notice that my pupil is the landmark for my premolars on the top or the bottom. My pupil. So draw a line straight down on a face somewhere that not yours hopefully and then um that is your premolar region if you line it up with the airlobe it's going to take you right there where they bite okay the airlobe i should draw a line there it's right there so you want to line up the pupil with the airlobe okay now, if you need to take one of the molar region, you're going to do the outside of the eyebrow to the earlobe, okay? Push that tongue over if you have to on your patient. Hold it here. See, that just makes so much sense when you can actually see it, but their patient's teeth are not on the outside, obviously. So just use the landmarks outside the eyebrow, airlobe, or bite wings. And you can even do it without. Let me show you. And then you're going to take your ring, um, your PID, your position indicating device. 
I don't have one, um, but I'll use this for an example. My microphone. And you would line up the... Uh, That's how you freehand. All right. Then, so we got the bite wings, and it's on the same on either side. Now, for your lateral cusp book, you would do the blue one, which I would just switch this to the blue. Take it. I put it on the blue. Pretty easy. And then I'm going to move this little dingy majingy to where it's on the blue line. Okay, as long as you can see the bite part, the x-ray in the center of the indicating device, it will help you. Mm -hmm. The nose for the, I'm going to do the centrals, the nose for the centrals. Okay, and if you had to do it freehand, just take your styrofoam one. They have styrofoam ones too that you put the film in, or just a sensor. Line it up with the nose. Have them bite down halfway in the middle. Now, there are degrees that you would line it up with um, that I have on the website. You can just right click and print it out or get the radiology book. It has it listed in there too um, if you're studying for your radiology exam. I have that on Amazon. Okay, so that was the centros and it's the same for the lower. But you might want to push the tongue back. Because you got to get the roots that you're not seeing. Remember that on a mount, the ones that are on top and on the bottom are for periapicals, PAs, periapicals. It shows the whole tooth, nothing but the tooth, from the clinical crown portion to the apex to where you can't see visibly inside the mouth. So that is a PA if your patient wants to know why you're taking PAs and why you're taking bite wings. Bite wings are the ones in the center. Sometimes they take two, sometimes they take four. Okay, those are to show interproximally if there's any decay starting that you'll be able to tell in the x-ray. Very important x-rays. If your patient does not want an x-ray, they have to sign a release form that they or no, a refusal form releases if they request their x-rays to be sent somewhere else, which they're allowed to have that done, but also um, a refusal form because your doctor is trying to diagnose something that they can't always see visually by the naked eye. They have to have x-rays. So that's the difference. You see the whole tooth and nothing but the tooth to see if there's any abscess going on. Abscess is um, a very dark circle in the x-ray towards the apex of the tooth. Um, which is why you draw the little red dot, refer to the charting video on that. Um, another thing, when you're charting x-rays, just know that the roots, these are notes, so take notes. You got the roots that are curved to the right or the left. If they're curved to the right, they're meant for the right side. If they're curved to the left in the molars, then it's meant for the left side of the um, FMX mount. All the dots should be like braille facing out, all right? If the dot is not facing towards you, then the x-ray needs to be flipped over. Um, your upper anterior teeth are larger 
than your lower anterior teeth. That's another indication if you want to just divide all your anterior teeth in a pile, your bite wings, that's a dead giveaway because you see the upper and lower together, okay, like that. Um, bring them together, put them in a pile, then mount them separately. Um, then we got, let's see, always put your patient's name. And then the vela bone. The vela bone is going to look like it's smiling if you mount the x-rays correctly. So let's review. Number one, all the dots should be facing out. Number two, make sure that um, all the molars are in the back. You're not going to have molars right here. It's just exactly how it's in the mouth. Um, another indication is that the bite wings are in the center and then the PAs are above and below it. Um, always start with your centrals, your lateral cuspids, and then you can do your posterior ones. Oh, and then little white squiggy lines on the upper are indications for sinus markings. Okay, your sinuses all through here. So your sinuses will be in the x-rays of your upper teeth. So that's how you can tell the upper from the lower as well. And then remember, for the lower, you'll see the alveolar bone where it looks like it's smiling and the roots are torn, you know, towards that way. And then the dot should be facing out. So same with the landmarks on my face right now. You got the outside of the eyebrow that's going to help you aim for the molars. All right. If you're taking a PA, just aim for that. Um, if you're taking a bite wing, it's the airlobe and the outside of the eyebrow. The pupil. The pupil is for the premolars. And the pupil and the airlobe is for the bite wing premolars. Okay, also called bicuspids back in my day when I started out. Know the two difference. Okay, it's the same. Then you got the inner corner of the eye, which is going to take you to the lateral and cuspid. Hard to do it on yourself. So that's that. And then you have the centrals, which is your nose. Same with the lower. Don't overthink it, guys. I just want to go over the charting real quick. I mean, the uh, placement of film. Just got done uploading a charting video. So I hope you enjoy that one as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will continue to upload um, just to keep helping. The new dental assistants out there, and my next video is going to be about externship, what to expect. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.